All right, so one of the first steps to becoming better striking on the golf ball is to work on a lot of iron contact drills. So a couple of drills that are my favorite go-to drills. Number one is gonna be placing a towel on the ground where you can set the towel a few inches behind your ball so that as you strike down on that golf ball, you're gonna notice if you hit behind the ball by hitting the towel. And if you make clean contact, you're gonna hit ball first, then turf, and that's gonna miss the towel that is sitting back behind the ball where you normally would chunk the golf shot. The second drill would be to use some sort of alignment stick where you set the club down between your legs so that you can get positioned over the ball correctly, have the ball in the right position in your stance. So iron shots you know slightly forward of center and then i can check my divot each time so i can make a swing hit the golf ball and i can check the divot starting point relative to the club or the alignment stick on the ground ideally you want to imagine a line extending out from your club you want to see the divot start on that line and go in front of the line if you see your divot starting back behind the club that tells you you just hit behind the golf ball causing kind of a chunked or fat shot. So again, this is another good feedback drill where you can line up some alignment sticks on the range and you can see if your divot is starting on that line in front of the line or behind the line. All right, and the third drill is pretty similar. It's taking two tees and sticking the two tees in the ground. This creates a little gate to swing between and then you can check your divot position relative to those two tees. So if you set a ball directly between those two tees, then you can check and see if your strike came after the golf ball in front of those two tees or if you hit behind the two tees, which would be signaling a chunk where you started contact early on the ground before you got to those two tees. So it's kind of similar to the alignment stick drill. You're just using two tees as your reference point to see if you're hitting in front, in the middle, or behind those two tees. All right, so those are three simple feedback drills you can do to see where you're striking the golf ball on the ground to see how your divots are. You can also look at each divot and get an idea if the divot looks like it's pointing straight, pointing left, or pointing right. That'll also give you some indication on your swing path or if your club face was open or shut when you struck the shot as well. So using your divots to get feedback is a great way to figure out what you're doing right or wrong in the golf swing and then start making adjustments until you notice the divots getting better and better to where you're hitting straight golf shots.